look at number two. Write the value of the following operations using scientific notation. Okay, so write the value of the following operations, and these operations are using scientific notation. So we're seeing if we can add, subtract, multiply, and divide numbers that are in scientific notation. Now, a lot of you think you can add and subtract and multiply and divide, but you can't. All you can do is copy something that you've already seen recently, which is you not actually performing any of those operations. You're just regurgitating something that you've seen. <coughs> Here I have a, a 10 to the third multiplied by a 10 to the minus 6. Now, my rule for multiplication of exponents is to add them. So I have 3 plus minus 6, which leaves me with minus 3. But I still have this divide by 10 to the minus 2. And my rule for dividing exponents is to subtract them. So I have a minus negative 2. Most students that I've seen so far have marked this as negative 5. This is not negative 5. If you put negative 5, you do not understand how to add and subtract negative numbers. This is minus 1, negative 1. So my answer is 10 to the minus 1. Moving on to B. I have 8 times 10 to the 3rd divided by 2 times 10 to the 5th. I can divide the coefficients like normal, so that's going to end up being a 4 times 10 to the something. But what is it? I have a 3 and a 5. Now I'm dividing. I'm dividing those exponents, and so I'm going to subtract them. So I'm going to carry out a 3 minus 5. And that comes out to be minus 2. C is an addition function. An addition function. Now the rule for adding and subtracting numbers in scientific notation is that the exponent, the times 10 to the exponent, has to be the exact same exponent. Here I have a 3 and a 4, so that is the issue. Now I have two options on how I can proceed, and it's just up to you. You can either move the decimal in this number so that this exponent right here, this 3, becomes a 4, or you can move the decimal in this number so that this exponent becomes a 3. Either way, it doesn't matter. We just need both of these exponents to agree. So just because I have to pick one way to do it, I'll take this decimal and move it here. And so I'll actually have 0 0.3 times 10 to the 4th plus 4.0 times 10 to the 4th. And what I get to do now is just keep that times 10 to the 4th as it is. I don't have to change it at all. All I have to do now is add my 0 0.3 and my 4.0 to 4.3. So my final answer is 4.3 times 10 to the 4th power.